Support Bluefield University in the production of more videos by visiting the link in the description below where you'll find more details. Thank you and enjoy. Okay, so so far I've kind of mentioned atoms here and there, but I haven't really talked about what they are or how we came up with them and things like that. So um, we're going to start things off by talking about Dalton's atomic theory and billiard ball model, which he started in 1808. So Dalton, of course, is John Dalton. We recently mentioned him when we talked about the law of multiple proportions. So when Dalton came up with this idea about atomic theory, basically he was trying to come up with um, trying to explain what makes up matter. And so he came up with these postulates, which were basically statements that he believed to be true about what makes up matter, okay? uh, specifically these atoms. And one thing I want you to notice is that I have kind of have them here as bullet points. I didn't number them, and the reason why I did that is because um, I've seen them in different orders, so uh, I don't really know what the correct or universally accepted way of numbering them is. And also, sometimes they're not just four. Sometimes I see them as four. Sometimes people write them as five different postulates. So you might see different things, and I kind of just went with four bullet points here, okay? just as a disclaimer. So the first thing that he said was that um, all matter consists of tiny, indivisible particles called atoms. Okay, so tiny, indivisible particles called atoms. So indivisible means that you cannot be break them, right? So this is the idea that matter cannot be created or cannot be destroyed, right, or created. So matter cannot be destroyed, right? These atoms cannot be destroyed, and of course, or created. And that, of course, is the law of mass conservation, right? Law of mass conservation, or the conservation of mass. So that statement and that law kind of go hand in hand. The um, next thing he said was that atoms of the same element are identical in mass and other properties. Okay, so atoms of the same element, so as long as you have atoms of a particular element, all of those atoms of that element will have identical mass and properties. Okay, other properties. Also, those said atoms of a particular element are going to be different from the atoms of other elements. So basically this is kind of saying that atoms of an element are unique. Right? So atoms of an element are unique. Period. <laughs> um, I mean, not really period. The idea is that that's kind of what the statement is saying. Right? Um, uh, but particularly in this way. Anyway, next postulate. Atoms of an element can chemically combine with atoms of other elements in specific small whole number ratios to form different chemical compounds. So this is this postulate is kind of like it's kind of a, a statement. Um, it basically wraps up the um, the two of the matter laws, right? The law of of definite composition, definite composition, and the law of multiple proportions, right? You gotta have those small whole number ratios of elements uh, of an atom to another, and you can have two, two different elements combined in, in more than just one way. Right? The last thing that he said was that atoms are recombined in chemical reactions, okay? chemical reactions as opposed to nuclear reactions. Okay? That's a detail that we'll talk more about later, uh, but atoms are recombined in chemical reactions. And he says that atoms of an element are not converted into atoms of a different element. So if you have atoms of an element, they cannot be converted into atoms of a different element. So those were his postulates. And based on those postulates, he came up with what was called the billiard ball model. And billiard balls, of course, if you guys have played pool or billiards, as some people call it, um, this is basically a, a pool table rack, right? If you have a little triangle thing. Anyway, he thought that atoms were kind of like billiard balls, that if you if you, you when you see um, a billiard ball like it's contained basically all of one material it's like that really really hard plastic that is um, that resists like um, cracking um, he thought that atoms were kind of like that he thought they were just like all one material and from um, from element to element the atoms differed so that's kind of what started things off with his, his atomic theory and um, not very many people believed him at first but over time, people kind of began to grow into this, and um, 
and sort of try to figure out more about atoms and develop atomic theory. So I hope that video was helpful as a good introduction to atomic theory, and then thank you for watching. If you found that video helpful, be sure to hit it with a like and subscribe for more content. Also, follow Move University on the different social media links in the description below. Thank you, and happy studying.